is included uh, in these... Uh, alcohol uh, is included. Yeah, yeah, not alcohol. Oh well, yeah, they don't. <laughs> that's, that's a funny story, can I tell you? Yes, please. When we send our young fellows to make this interview in a very remote village yeah. uh, with the questionnaire, and within the questionnaire, one question was, do you drink uh, alcohol? alcohol yeah. And uh, within this sentence, nobody said, no, no, I'm not drinking alcohol. So when they came back and, uh, to report to me, I say, okay, something is wrong here. You say that, yes, they say, we asked, are you drinking alcohol? Nobody was, so I said, you know what? Come back, call these people, are you drinking wine? Everybody was drinking wine. <laughs> because they produce the wine, especially red wine. And so they don't consider uh, wine alcohol. Alcohol. And so the and also you know they drink uh, uh, wine, but not so much. Is it? What, yeah. How much? Yeah, just maximum during a day, two glasses of two red glasses. wine. Is it only at night, or is it throughout the day? Uh, no, during the night. During they night, never. Okay. They never. You know, first of all, sometimes they can eat at lunch, mm. but then if they eat at lunch, they rest for three, four hours. Nobody's working. So day working time is between 6 a.m. in the morning until noon. Then they have a kind of a siesta or uh, relax for, yeah. uh, and then also, and then they restart a little bit to work and they, they go uh, to, to, to bed at 6 o'clock. They never watch TV, they don't need TV. You know, they are quite, um, you know, usual and uh, kind of daily uh, life that is common for these people yeah uh, and they are happy for small things so and uh, again coming on on the diet uh, uh, they really don't uh, sometimes they eat a little bit of pork they uh, eat pork yes okay. and that's interesting right yeah because uh, you know people they think that uh, pork is not included in Mediterranean diet yeah but it was the only meat they were eating uh, in Sardinia in uh, uh, Chilento, but also here in Okinawa. Yeah. I become aware that That's the only meat is from pork. Yep. So, and because at the end of the day, what is important? That is, these animals are eating uh, the vegetables or the, the product from this land, right? Uh, so when you eat this animal, you indirectly oh, are eating. Yeah. And this is what we are able now to measure, the effect of eating with the summer product on our blood we call uh, metabolomics. Mm. That is the way that you can measure based on what you eat, mm. which are the products that you can detect in the blood and see if you have kind of a propensity to develop diabetes or not. Yeah. And this is a, what is a special, especially in a cooperation with the Lund University in Sweden, what we did, we did a two interesting study. Mm. First of all, we went to compare middle-aged people from Malmo oh. uh, in Sweden okay. and from Chilento. Mm. 1,000 uh, subjects from Malmo and uh, 800 uh, subjects from uh, Chilento. Mm. Uh, what we found, uh, that's very interesting, uh, that uh, although the food in, um, in the Sweden area was totally different, mm. uh, the cardiovascular risk factor in Sweden was less expressed it in Chile. So this is surprising, right? Yeah. We are talking about mid-age people Middle and not age. about centenaries. Okay. So, and because in Chile, they totally changed mm. their uh, food habits. Mm. But as a matter of fact, the incidence of cancer and cardiovascular disease in the Swedish population, and we published this uh, data, although, uh, you know, they were doing so uh, attempt mm. to prevent you know, cardiovascular disease was higher Higher. in the Swedish population compared yeah. to Chile. So this uh, came to the idea to us that it's kind of protective effect beside the food. And this protective effect can come from the soil where well, these uh, products are coming from Mediterranean diet because when the Greece, they stopped coming from uh, 500 years before Jesus Christ, they found this place really beautiful in terms of water, yeah. in terms and then they, they took uh, um, uh, olive oil uh, plants, the, the, the grape, and so they saw that these olive oils are beautiful. And so that's something that is linked, I think, uh, basically on the uh, fact that uh, something is, uh, is uh, special there. 
and uh, this is also the reason why uh, we think that uh, beside the kind of food where the food are growing yeah. uh, uh, is making a big difference so wow. uh, and that's